Hello and welcome back to the next part of our video series where we are getting reverse shells using a script created by JetGPT that's posted on Station X. And I've just customized it a bit more. I've been playing around with it. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I actually download Mimikatz onto the machine. This one, Defender, is disabled because it lights up everything like a Christmas tree and it, the files get removed. But what I did in the script is I actually set the URL path to download Mimikatz along with uh, Netcat64. And then I, I launch two windows on here, which you'll see where it gives me, I run Privileged Debug and it gives me the output of 20, which means I'm at admin mode. And then I dump the credentials. And what I'll do is I'll go onto the Kali machine as well and launch Mimikatz and do exactly the same. So <clears throat> again, this is my environment. I have permission to hack this, to run these kind of tools. Um, please do this in a safe environment. Do this in your own labs. Do not do this unethically. Okay, so let's kick off the script here. You'll notice that the two files download. You can see we've got a reverse shell and two Mimikatz windows popped up. Now, the first one, let me just bring this up a little bit more. The first one executes the command that I have here, it gives me a privilege 20 OK. And then obviously the second one dumps the hashes of the machine. Now, let me just move this out the way. If we go to our reverse shell, as you can see here, uh, let's just go to the folder where I actually dumped this. And if I type in Mimikatz, I can launch Mimikatz and then sec URL SA, double colon, logon passwords. You'll see I can dump the hashes as well as I did where I launched the two windows on the machine. Obviously, if you want to hack somebody uh, or you're in a penetration test, you wouldn't be so noisy because they will see exactly what you're doing. But I just wanted to prove to you that with Defender down and we'll bypass Defender and in a later video is that we can run this, dump it, and then execute it in the background. As mentioned, Windows Defender knows the signatures, knows what to look for from Mimikatz. So the moment you put this exe on the system, it gets removed. So I just wanted to show you how we can customize this even more. In the next video, I'll be demonstrating the re recompiled Netcat uh, 32 file. We will get a reverse shell, and we'll obviously be able to run commands. And then we'll see if Defender actually picks this up. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I thank you very much for watching.